I'm glad I'm wearing blue because I got the blues, trust me. And it's, it's, it's a lot of things that have happened over the last couple of weeks. But for me, the pseudo-gynecologist who goes by the name Mugo, who we cannot ascertain is a person in police custody, um, brings me back to us as women. And if you're a guy, you don't have to watch this. You know, we investigate nothing. And it comes from so socialization. We're told as women, what's your problem? Why do you ask so many questions? Why do you want to be such a know-it-all? And it's always left women in a very victim situation. Women investigate nothing. We're very peripheral. Huh? Depth is not something we're known for, okay? And it goes through everything in our lives when you think about it. We'd never question the habits, the nature of even the people we date. And then, you know, we're crying and saying, oh, he changed, he was weird, he used to be perfect. Yet you could see what the issues were. But let's just go back to the whole uh, OBGYN issue. A lot of us, by the way, would take an OBGYN on referral. And women do a lot of referral. It's how we are. Who did your hair? Referral. Where did you get your nails done? Referral. Um, where did you buy that? Referral. We work on referral. But we don't believe in our own decisions. Okay, we don't believe in that. So it doesn't matter what Debbie tells me. I don't then make my own decision and say, let me just go a layer deeper. Or if I feel that when I go there, I don't like it, I don't want to offend Debbie. So I don't tell her I didn't like your guy or I didn't like this. Because all of a sudden it becomes, well, when in nini, monokona fitina. But we never say that when a guy decides, no, I'm taking this apart. And when you think about it, it's something that follows and haunts us through everything. We are the same people who never investigate the weird pastor, the weird priest, um, the one who says, Lazima afungwe jia buana. Mm? Yo watoto wa kuje. We don't investigate it. As far as we're concerned, to meambiwa, therefore, let's just stay with this story. And we don't trust ourselves, okay? If you go to a place, and let's go back to the pseudo gynecologist known as Mogo, and you leave there feeling, why don't you trust that thing and say, I, uh-uh, mm, mm But we've taught ourselves not to trust ourselves because apparently the voice in our head is not a good one. Because if instantly you knew, I don't like this, we would go a step further. We would not shower. And this is the other thing about us. Nobody has taught us as women to also preserve evidence. None of the women who were if they were assaulted in this clinic, have any evidence. It was washed away. It's gone. And nobody has told us to hold everything we feel we're not happy with, we, we need a lot more answers on. Hold it, vault it, investigate it. We just don't. We're women. And we're Kenyan women in particular. So being a Kimenyi is frowned on. Asking too many questions is frowned on. Having an ulterior, an alternative opinion is frowned on. We've got to start allowing ourselves to have a voice. And it starts by you permitting yourself to voice what you're feeling, what you're doubting, and also the people in your closest circle allowing you to say so. If you're not okay, say so. What's wrong? And can we stop shutting women down? Can we just stop it? And when I say, can we stop shutting women down? Incidentally, we always act like men are the enemy. Men are not the enemy anymore. The people who spend the most time shutting women down is women. Allow your daughter, your sister, your niece, your mom, your friend to say, uh-uh, imagine I don't agree and I would like to look into this a little further. Allow yourself to bolt things and say, no, I want this looked into. Because by and large, every time a woman has looked further into something, there has been something. But she's constantly scared, not that the men will shut her down, is that other women will tell her, Shida koni nini. Niwangi wa menda uko, kwani, you're special. And that's the other thing. A woman who says, I don't agree, is told, hmm, 
unafikia wewe ndio wa kwanza i wish we demanded more we investigated more but also we didn't go with a wave but in the way going with the flow is one of the dumbest things in the world huh? only dead fish go with the flow everything else swims so if there's a big lesson to be learned for us as women out of this horrible story out of this pseudo gynecologist known as mogo is that trust your gut demand more and you know what you're allowed to say it's not okay and say it and say it and say it until somebody listens because the reason we're here in this place where this perfect crime was committed and the reason we're not in the same space as the women who had their issue with Bill Cosby is that the women who had the issue with Bill Cosby spoke and spoke and spoke they knew nobody was listening in fact some of the earliest victims in the case of Bill Cosby were shunned were maligned but they told their story anyway don't shut your voice down and don't shut that little voice in your head down as well you know the one that tells you i call it the ticklies it's that small feeling you get in the back of your neck with a small hair stand up don't shut that thing down that thing is important that's all i'm saying stop shutting your voice down and stop shutting women down and for heaven's sake have a little depth yes you'll be called a kemeni a kanoital akona akona fitina mingi it's okay it just might save your life subscribe please